Hey, how's it going guys? Zodar here, and today I'm bringing you guys a brand new video. Uh, sorry for that. And, uh, my voice might be a little bit bad sounding because I am sick right now. But, uh, you know, the videos must go on. But, uh, I don't know why this picture is frozen on my PVR. My console's not even on. But, uh, so today in this video I'm going to be telling you guys all about the new dashboard update, what it means for you. And, uh, I'm also going to show you guys how to do a... Uh, perspect or <laughs> sorry, I'm getting my words mixed up. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to put on a custom boot animation onto your RGH or JTAG. Uh, my console is booting right now. Hopefully, my PVR on freezes. Yep, there we go. So that is going to be the uh, some just an example of what you can do with this. <clears throat> I have uh, plenty of boot up animations. I'm not gonna upload them anywhere just because it takes too much time. But uh. I'm going to show you guys, or I have to go reflash my NAND to uh, show you guys this from a sort of uh, new perspective or like a uh, stocks perspective, that's what I meant to say. So I'm going to have to go do that real fast and just don't mind all the crap on my RGH, it's just random stuff that I download. But um, what I, uh, about the dashboard update? Um. The new update is 17148, um, and most people are using X, er, XPLC right now. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Uh, most people are uh, doing that right now, using that to get online, but that won't be a viable option unless you want to pay for it, just like Stealth, because they are making their files, uh, they're going to make you pay for uh, Lifetime again, just like you always had to in the past. Hold on, let me open up 360 and Flasher. But um, you always had to do it in the in the past, and people were outraged. Like, why are they making us pay? Uh, because, like I said, they always made you pay. It was just the fact that like, um, people were releasing like the source code to other services and their service. I don't know if their specific files ever got leaked or the source, but I know that Xbox Live Stealths uh things were actually uh fully leaked. Which nobody, barely anybody could get them to work, but that's the point. But, um, yeah, so, uh, they were outraged at that, and that's why they made their update, or, well, they made, uh, 16767, they made it free. Just because of that reason, because of people doing stuff like that. And, um, so, that's why their stuff was free. Let me reboot my RGH. Uh, that's why their files were free for that dash, but uh, they've already came out and said a while ago, once I made them free, they came out and said that it was going to be uh, not free anymore for the next dash update, which is obviously 17.148. So, yeah, XBLC is no longer going to be free. Um, if you're like me and use offline files, you just have to wait for a uh, a reverse HV to get released. Like for me, I literally, like inside of my online files, it's just, uh, now as you can see, sorry, I have to pause that. I, I have the normal boot up animation and then my custom one's going to show after it. And I'm going to show you guys how to do all that in a second. But I'm still going over the dash for now. But um, that is what, uh, that's what it means for you guys. I, Oh yeah, there we go. So, they, um, yeah, so, you in my folder, it's, sorry, I lost my train of thought. In my folder, it's just uh, the HV, which people will, will release for this dashboard. So, uh, that's all I have to replace in order to get online, and obviously an unbanned KV. But, yeah, that's all you have to do uh, for offline files. Now, let me open up Neighborhood so I can go, uh... Or so I can show you guys what to do. So I'll leave it down. I, I'm going to get into the actual tutorial now. Um, I'll, once the XE build and dash launch are updated, I'll show you guys how to uh, update your kernel to, obviously, the latest 17.148. I'll show you guys how to update that. And uh, I'll also release... Er, I don't know if I can release these online files because I'm pretty sure they're in, they're in 7 cents premium. I, I don't think that I'm allowed to release them, so I'll check in on that. Maybe I can. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, now on with the tutorial. So, what you guys are going to want to do, I'll leave a link to Dash Launch download in the description. I'll probably leave a link to uh, Real Mod Scene. 
Uh, let me delete this. Sorry, it's just there, and I don't need it. So, what you're gonna want to do uh, here, I'll just show you. It's uh, yeah, eight, just the HV and the KV is all that you need. So, uh, this file right here has nothing to do with the update. It just checks for the HV, and a reversed HV is the only thing that you need to update. That's all that XBLS uh, Stealth has to update. That's all that uh, XBLC has to update, and every other online service. So, yeah, once that gets released, I'll be able to get back online. So, what you're going to want to do, though, uh, I'll, this is the folder that you're going to get. It's called Fake Anim. Just go into that. Now, I have this Fake Anim.ini. This right here is going to be, yours will come, I'll tell you the defaults once I open it. Now, the defaults are going to be, I think this is 13 by default, and this is set to 1. What the calibration is, it just sets, uh, it makes a red screen, so you can tell, like, or, and the goal is to make sure that red screen appears for the least amount of time, uh, so it doesn't cut off your boot, uh, your boot uh, video, that's what I meant to say. And um, you can use any video file with this, it just has to be in Windows Movie uh, format, it has to be in uh, WMV. Windows m Movie Video? I don't know. I, I don't know what it stands for, but yeah, WMV format, any of those work. So you're just going to want to keep tweaking these until you get them right. And I'll show you what I mean. Uh, eh. Sure, I'll show you guys what I mean. So, save, I'm just going to save that. I'm going to leave them, what, or leave the other one what it's already at. Let me replace that. Um, but, yeah, this is what you'll get. You won't, inside a jukebox, you'll have a bunch of them. You can just choose what you want. Uh, if you want a link to this, let me know. I'll, I can upload it somewhere. But, um, once, uh, once you have that, uh, updated i would say start don't start at 13 don't go down by one either because it's like it's very short so i wouldn't go down by one i'd go down by like two every time and uh you don't really uh there we go um you don't really need to uh calibrate it you could just uh take a guess around eight seconds i just got an insta boot on my rg it's uncommon uh, my screen, or my PVR is lagging, sorry. Like I said, this isn't, uh, my old computer is motherboard fried. So now see, mine's actually worsely calibrated than I thought. Uh, I don't know what my PVR is doing. But, um, if you would have actually been able to see that, it's just frozen. Great. Uh, it doesn't, er, if you were actually able to see that, I don't know what the hell's going on. There we go. Um, my computer is lagging like a bitch. Uh, this red screen right here, it appears for way too long. So we're going to fix that once my computer stops being a bitch. Wow, this is horrible. Okay, so go into here. And I'm actually going to edit mine a little bit because that's way too long. So I'm going to set this down to... Uh, I'm confident that 6 should be good. I thought 8 was fine. But that does not seem to be the case. So I'm just going to replace this here. And then reboot again. It's just a process of trial and error, guys. It's like, uh, most of the time the boot, the boot times are different for each, co or not boot times, like the, uh, the time that you, or, well, the delay that you need to set it to is different for every console. I'm glad that my RGH is actually booting fast for this video. And my PVR is still taking a shit. Right. Uh, the red screen appeared for a few seconds. It appeared for like maybe two, three seconds. So we're going to fine tweak it again. I'm just going to forget the PVR for the second because I have no idea why it's doing that. So I'm going to set it down to four and then hopefully that should be, hopefully that should fix everything. Should solve world hunger, probably. So I'm going to reboot it one more time. Again, like I said, though, this is uh, dependent on different... Like, this is different for each console, so I can't tell you. Uh, judging by mine, though, uh, most of the time, I think fats... I think you have to start around 11. 
but if you uh mine's a corona my rgh is a corona and uh i guess well i put it at eight because i thought eight was fine but i guess i was definitely proven wrong i'm glad that i did the calibration again um it's probably booting or probably could have booted every time a few seconds faster but i mean like you you don't really have to do this you can just set it at a number because i was never bothered by it so yeah you just set it to like a a uh, median number and uh just go from there. So once uh this will be the last time I edit it, this should be fine. If it'll ever boot. Come on, you're doing so well. It's because I'm turning it on and off a lot, but it needs to just hurry up and boot is what it needs to do. All right, I'm gonna unplug it. Wait a few seconds, just to make sure it's not gonna turn on. All right, unplug it. Plug it back in. Sorry, it's been booting fine this entire video. I don't know why it started or why it's starting to boot late now. Or well, I know why, but I wish it wouldn't. I think. It, yep, there we go. All right, just booted again. So this one should be fine. Uh. PVR is, I guess, is useless at this point. Because for some reason now it's not even showing the picture. The red screen still shows for a few for a few seconds, but whatever, it's fine. So now once you uh, this my PVR is useless. It's actually useless. Like, can I at least close it, please? Thank you. Come on. Alright, so we're just going to move on to this. So now once you have it at your desired thing, you're just going to go to uh, back into the INI, set the calibration to zero. Now, don't reboot your console just yet. Save it and put it back on wherever. You don't need to do this through uh, through your uh, 360 neighborhood. I'm just doing this because I don't have enough USB sl slots on this uh, laptop to plug in my um, my USB and my PVR. I have like my mouse, keyboard, and stuff like that hooked up. But uh, now what you're gonna want to do, I'm gonna reopen my PVR because it's actually needed for this. Hopefully it doesn't fucking completely shit on me and actually works. That'd be great. It's not looking good. Oh, Gemma. I just need you for like a minute, maybe. Please. Okay. Alright. So now, what you're going to want to do, I can't be bothered to go through uh, Dash Launch, so, or not Dash Launch, through uh, XEX menu, so I'm just going to boot. Just go into Freestyle Dash. Uh, this for for me this is much easier than going through XEX menu because I have a uh, freestyle dash uh, inside of dash launch I have it set to left bumper so anytime I like exit the game or something it uh sorry for the voice crack like I said I'm sick but um yeah every time I exit the game or whatever I hold left bumper or whenever I'm booting and it'll boot uh, freestyle so what you're gonna want to do is go into settings go to setup then settings general settings and general settings or no i lied wait no 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 i didn't go into general settings and right down here file manager advanced mode uh make sure that is checked and uh once you leave this i don't know if it'll uh, tell you to restart freestyle dash but if it does uh go ahead and do it then you could do it through the guide or through the freestyle but i'm just going to do it through the wait no never mind you have to do it through the guide because or through freestyle because if you do it through the guide you can't delete files forgot about that so go into flash make sure uh, you do not have uh, XBLC still enabled as a plugin because that uh, freestyle dash or not freestyle dash fake anim and XBLC will stop your console from booting I don't know why uh, but if you accidentally do that by mistake you can uh, pull out whatever drive is your launch INI is on and then just boot it like that. 
and it'll boot fine. Uh, it might take a little bit longer to boot. There won't be any boot animation. It'll just go straight into it. But um, make sure you make a backup of your... Before you go into this step right here, make sure you have a backup of your NAND in case you need to reflash it in Zell or whatever. So now, you're just going to press... Uh, you want to press A on it. I fucked up. I fucked up, guys. I didn't mean to do that. I definitely did not mean to do that. Press the wrong button. Ah, uh, definitely don't do that. We're going to go to freestyle home again. Right, so, <laughs> don't be a fucking dumbass like me. Sorry, I didn't mean to press A on it. That's not what I meant to do. That's like the last thing that I meant to do. Right, file manager. Flash. Uh, you want to press, I'm trying, ah, uh, X, right? I'm done being a dumbass. Press X, not A. Make sure you don't press A. That's not good. Right. So you press X to select it. Uh, hold left bumper or right bumper. And then you're going to press B. This will delete the file. And click on yes. Now, once you do that, you're free to reboot your console. I'll reboot mine one last time for you guys. All right, I don't I don't know why my PVR doesn't want to update that it's off because my RGH is just booting. I don't know if you heard me press the power button or not. But um once this boots, you'll see that it uh no longer shows the original Xbox 360 wow, Xbox 360 boot animation and it shows our custom one that we or um while we're doing this, I'm just going to tell you inside of the uh, uh let's just see what time we're at. This is a very long video. I'm going to need to cut this down. But um, I'm going to try to hurry this up because I don't want to do too much editing. Uh, pretty much all you guys got to do, just make sure there's only one. Or, like, if you have multiple, see, uh, now it's just that boot animation instead of the original Xbox 360. Uh, I also have multiple other boot animations somewhere here. Alright, I'm not going to bother with it. But uh, I have boot animations somewhere. But if you want me to upload them, let me know. Uh, so yeah, that's how you do it. And um, just make sure inside of your uh, jukebox folder, inside of uh, fake anim, uh, make sure, well, you can have multiple if you want. It will just choose a random one each time it boots. But uh, yeah, you're allowed to have multiple, but if you want just one static or one just constant boot anim, animation then uh just make sure there's only one so i'm gonna have to edit the shit out of this video and if it's still 16 if it's 18 minutes i apologize i really did not want it to be this long but it was mostly me explaining the dashboard and stuff i'll leave a link to i don't know why i'm telling you this now but i'll i'll leave a link uh to like the parts in the video that will be relevant to different people um hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, i'll have more tutorials and stuff soon and uh, see you guys next time. Peace.